<laughs> hey, good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Crypto Conversation. Of course, one of the biggest news right now is Verge now has partnered up with one of the biggest porn company, I would say, Porn Hub. But I still don't see much of a difference in the price of the Verge after this announcement. In fact, when this morning I got up, I thought Verge would be maybe 100x or maybe 200x. But to my surprise, it's actually less by 26%. In fact, if you check this on onchainfx.com, Verge, instead of being into the top gainer, it is among the top losers. So XVZ is top losers, which is minus 26%. So definitely nothing magical with the price, even after the announcement of Pornhub and Verge. Now, of course, one of the reasons why Pornhub would choose Verge cryptocurrency over any other cryptocurrencies, of course, very natural for the privacy feature, right? So the users of Pornhub who have been paying for the services using their debit card, credit card or bank accounts, whatever. Now they have an option of using Verge cryptocurrency. So definitely it helps in the terms of adoption of cryptocurrency adoption, right? So you had cafe shop, you had, uh, you had uh, Lamborghini, you had so many other merchants accepting cryptocurrencies. Now you have a pawn website also accepting a cryptocurrency. So again, now one thing that we also need to keep in mind that along with these, there are also uh, decentralized pawn uh, business models are also coming right so for example span chain we also spoke about uh, stasi q right the one that we covered so these are decentralized pawn uh, portals as well wherein uh, the artist gets paid directly and the form of the mode of payment in those on those portals are their native tokens itself so we will have to see how really actually it works out in the longer run because in, in in my opinion in the longer run it's going to be the decentralized for pawn also that will survive and and when it comes to the decentralized pawn hub you have their own cryptocurrencies that people can use but of course for now this is definitely a good news in terms of cryptocurrency adoption and of course, for the, all the Verge hodlers out there, I mean, there have been a lot of controversy as to what exactly going on with Verge cryptocurrency. I think more and more people will now try to hold on and see how the price behaves from here. Of course, none of this is a financial or investment advice. Coming back to the next news. So Russian government has blocked about 20 millions of IP addresses to ban Telegram uh, app still operation. Now, this would be... Uh, this is the problem with the centralized models, right? So Telegram is a centralized model. Any government can decide to ban the centralized applications. And this is what has happened. One of the reasons they also banned because they saw a lot of scams happening out there. And of course, Telegram also has a huge user database of Russia, which is kind of Russia may not like that, that a, com a particular company having all my country's data. So they decided to ban about 20 millions of users, but it looks like people are still able to operate Telegram using VPN and other networks as well. The next news is from data firm Cambridge Analytica. So Cambridge Analytica was the company which was involved with the recent Facebook controversy, right? They they screened about two, some a few millions profile during the election campaign of Donald Trump, and it looks like this is what they were specialty was. So uh, Cambridge Analytica worked for U.S. President Donald Trump in 2016 election campaign and has faced scrutiny over the past month. Over the Observer and the New York Times reported the firm improperly gained access to personal data on millions of Facebook users. Facebook earlier this month acknowledged the data from more than 87 million users could have been compromised. Now, what apparently it appears that Cambridge Analytica had actually planned to do an ICO of 30 million. And it was very unfortunate that before they could uh, raise the ICOs, they got into the scandal of Facebook, the whole thing. But again, this is good 
for the investors point of view imagine if these guys would have cambridge analytica would have done the icos and people would have invested into this firm of course the people one of the reason people were also invest because this is already an existing firm so existing firm always you have more confidence in it so let's say if they have would have already done ico and people would have already bought their tokens and then the whole controversy happens i don't know the investors would have been at a loss you know because nobody knows what's going to happen right so good that before they did an ico this whole thing popped up that's definitely a good news now the last news i want to share is from a imf chief lagarde what do you call her christine lagarde i'm of course you would know her uh, because of her recent statement on the cryptocurrencies on the first time she said that the cryptocurrencies are going to destroy all the banks these are new but recently the, she also quoted that the cryptocurrencies are risky now her recent statement is that cryptocurrencies are the future cryptocurrencies are risky yet they need to be regulated we cannot uh, we cannot ignore them so it says crypto assets enable fast and inexpensive financial transactions while offering some of the convenience of cash so basically this is a message for the regulators it says moreover banks and other financial institutions will face challenges to their business model should there be a large scale shift away from the government issued currencies towards crypto assets possibly regulators might find it harder to ensure the stability of more of a diffuse and decentralized financial system central banks might have more trouble acting as the lender of the last resort in the case of crisis so clearly she is very positive on cryptocurrencies and this is coming up from the imf chief itself guys right so of course these guys are experts these guys know what they are talking about they have seen the world for a pretty long time they are talking from the experience and as per her cryptocurrencies are the future and the regulators are going to find it hard to regulate it but however this has to be done so that's definitely a positive news Thank you so much for watching guys let me know if any specific topic that you want to cover in the comment box today and give this video a like share subscribe and i'll see you next time